Hey YouTube, it's Ian here, and I've got myself a jailbroken iPhone 5. So I'm going to show you some of the tweaks I've got. Um, we're going to start off with Activator, which is necessary for most of them to be installed, but really doesn't have a lot of applications, in my opinion, unless you like to have lots of customization on how you activate your apps. Like if you want to turn on an app by triple, like you can use three fingers to turn on something. Um, you tap the screen with three fingers, and it'll activate settings and you can do stuff like that. Android lock is for your lock screen. It's not um, set up for iOS 7 yet but it still shows up. So I'm just waiting for the next update. App locker which lets you lock specific apps. Like if you don't want someone to get into your Facebook you put a password on it and no one can get into your Facebook. Specific, that way you don't have to lock your phone. If you're worried about someone getting into your photos you lock your photos instead of locking your phone type of thing. Barrel is let you do um, the cool animations with your um, icons, which is like the roll away. You know, get that cool animation going. You can do several different ones. Um, do not keep it show barrel icon. Do not turn it off. Otherwise, it will, will um, reset your phone and you have to, it'll mess up your jailbreak, which I'll show you how to fix at, towards the end of this video. Um, vertical scrolling, I mean, they're all really cool. My favorite, because it's simple, is Flippy. Um, next we've got Flip Control Center, which is very, um, it just, in your Control Center, it lets you add a bunch, whatever you want to it, basically. You can activate whatever apps enabled, disabled, um, but they're there, you know, barrel, I have all the settings, flashlight. I don't know why I have flashlight twice, but you know. Um, then you have the bottom shelf, which is your bigger ones, which you can do the same thing if you want to, I guess. I don't know why you want them twice, but you can put them there. Um, flip launcher, which lets you control what apps, like if I don't want barrel to be in the options, it would want the option. Icon renamer, which is just lets you rename the icons, whatever icon you want. You just make a jiggle mode and tap on it again. You can name it whatever you want. You know. So uh, just remember to sub for more. Um, yeah, I'm done. Cancel. Auto jiggle mode and they'll save automatically. I key, which is pretty cool. You just create 10 custom keys at the top row here. You see I have new stuff. And then if you hit alt for alt keys, You've got your other ones. All right, it's pretty kind of cool. The lock screen tool will let you control your lock screen if you want to have show text at all. Hide the camera button so people can't slide up and turn your camera on. Um, hide the date and time. Hide the slide to open. Whatever. Like right now, I have mine as Batman. Here, I am Batman. I am Batman. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, Notification center, where normally it has the tomorrow and missed view. You can turn that off, which is kind of nice. Record my screen, which is what I'm using right now. Sicarious, which is basically a quit all app thing. Which instead of having to slide up, if you have a bunch of them, you can just kill them all at once, which is pretty sweet. And it has a 3D function, too, here. You slide them back, they look kind of 3D-ish. It's, it's cool-ish, right? I quit this one. Alright, and then we've got speed intensifier, which basically speeds up your animation really quick. Um, your animations are really fast, like I would do it right now, but you have to respring you have to respring your device, so you can't do it right now, but it just makes them move a little faster. Um, swipey, which is pretty cool. It's just uh, customize, customizable six apps at the lock screen. Oops, come on, turn on. There you go. And you slide this direction and see it'll open up apps. <sighs> Things slow. If you go this way, you can. Sometimes it doesn't like to work. But yeah, settings, alright. So you understand that works a little, it's a little sticky sometimes. Transparent volume which is normally you don't know, have the little gray box around your volume. No, you don't. 
um, window board, which is for themes, like you change your icon, if you want um, Android type icons, or whatever, but most of them aren't upgraded for iOS 7 icons, since they look slightly different, it messes with it, so most of them don't work, and then Zeppelin, which is pretty sweet, changes your I your carrier icon, if you normally have AT&T, you can make it Batman is my cell phone carrier, you know, it's just for fun. So let's show you where I get these. So once you're on Cydia, you load up Cydia. You'll have their main Cydia page. It's going to load what you normally got. You can hit cancel because you don't have really much to load. You're going to want to go to manage and add sources. So I'm going to let you pause the video and add these sources. These sources I suggest adding. The only one you don't really need to add is um, Repo 666 Ultra Snow because it's only for I iOS. Um, let's click on it real quick. It's only for... 3G, 3GS, the iPhone 4, you know, they're, it's old, um, and it won't work for most of them, but otherwise, that's these, so I'll just give you a minute, pause the video. If you want to, I probably should, if you don't, if you're new to Cydia, um, if you want to add a source, you hit edit, add. And you add a source of it. I guess I would just assume you will know that. So, anyways, once you have your sources, then you want to go to changes, hit refresh, and it'll update, which takes anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes, depending on how much new crap is on Cydia. Ooh, alright, see it's reloading, it's good. Alright, ooh, we got new stuff. Cool. No icon badges. Um, power alert, voicemail, remover, okay, it's kind of cool. Most of these I have are powerful, you know, tags, the, like tweaks actually add, add to your settings. Infinite dock, which is basically where you can scroll forever, I was thinking about getting that one. So, um, but if you want to watch it, like say you don't want to um, download it, but you want to watch it, you can hit show all changes and it'll let you know whenever it gets an update. Because right now, it'll say, um... I don't have any updates, but no, normally it'll say new, but if you have any updates for apps, it'll say uh, available updates, so that's kind of cool, but um, so you just kind of look around what you want, All right, so let's go with what I have, manage packages, um, so you know what they're called, you've got activator, um, barrel, Oops, sorry, um, you know, just kind of look around what you need. Alright, so now if you happen to get the gray screen, and I can't show it to you because it won't continue to record, but um, if you get your, your phone, like if you eat something simple like swipe and type, and this is all you need to do is type, and it'll make your screen go gray, I don't know why. It'll restart your phone, and you'll have a gray screen. City will still be there, but it'll most likely be wherever it was before you installed the 5 dock. So let's say if you put it in a folder or something, that's where it'll be. So you just go to Cydia. Load it up like normal. Go to manage, and you're going to want to find Cydia Substrate. You want to hit modify, reinstall, and hit continue queuing. And then you want to go back. Go down to the S's, which sometimes works if you click on the letters on the side of the screen. And there you go. And that'll drop you down. You want Substrate Safe Mode. Modify, reinstall. And then you hit confirm. And that'll restart your device, and your jailbreak stuff will work just fine. So, um, that's my tweaks, and I will be posting more if I get enough feedback on this video. Otherwise, I guess, you know, no one's looking at my video. So, let's hope I get some feedback, and uh, this is Ian, and I'm out.